I decided it would be fun to teach a Mayterm class on 3D printing. It actually filled up faster than any class I've ever taught. It's got a mix of a lot of CS students, but it's also got music tech people, biologists, it's got artists in there. So it's an interesting cross grouping of people. It's not just the highly technical folks. Since we are a small liberal arts school, you don't usually get a chance to play with this kind of technology. And the nice thing about Trancy, as with all of our equipment, if we have it, the undergraduates are usually allowed to use it. So they're getting a chance to play hands-on with equipment that they might see at other universities but might not actually be able to use. We've printed out a, a fully jointed hand uh, it's not hooked up to any motors yet. I do a lot with robots, and I thought that would be kind of an interesting follow-up. Another group is working on designing things and printing things out that would be indistinguishable from products that you could go out and buy. So they're doing a lot of post-production. When something comes out of the printer, it's got some rough edges, it's got some layers that are visible. They're using acetone to smooth things out to produce results. I am a science fiction uh, geek, among other things, so I've printed out Batman heads, uh, Spider-Man drink coasters, anything like that just as a gee whiz appeal. We printed out a fully functioning adjustable crescent wrench, which was kind of a neat tool, and just a variety of, of between both useful and gee whiz kind of stuff.